Hello everyone. You're watching the Addis Trading Platform channel. In this video, we'll talk about a simple yet effective method of detecting major players on Addis charts. We'll also learn how volume profile can help to find an entry point. Detecting major players on charts is crucial, as these large professional traders have the power to influence price changes. There is quite simple logic to understand what major players do in the market. It's a key to the price behavior, which we'll discuss a bit later. Perhaps the first person to describe the relationship between price and volume was Richard Wyckoff, a Wall Street legend. By understanding the habits and strategies of major players, Wyckoff could look at a simple daily volume histogram chart and accurately infer what was truly happening in the market. An example which you can see right now was taken from the Richard D. Wyckoff method of trading and investing in stocks, where the author analyzes the New York Times stock index chart. Here is what Richard writes about the bar on February 11th, highlighted on the chart. The exceptionally large volume on the 11th, coupled with the inability to achieve substantial further growth on high volume, typically signifies some distribution and regression. On February 11th, the index reached a high only one point above that of the 10th and closed with a slight net gain on high volume. Heavy supply overtook demand. The logic is to compare the achieved progress amid high volume. Let's see if Wyckoff's old-fashioned concept applies to a modern instrument like Bitcoin to the US dollar. We've added the vertical volume indicator, purple histogram, and the one-period ATR to facilitate evaluating price dynamics on a five-minute chart. Two levels, R and S, are marked on the chart. We'll focus on what happens when these levels are broken out. The candle at 1055 has a low ATR value. This indicates that a candle is narrow, but volumes are very high. Compare this candle to the previous one, which broke the S support level. The high volume on the previous candle can be interpreted as the seller's effort during the level breakout, and the corresponding progress was noticeable. However, the 1055 candle shows no progress. The price seems to have hit an invisible barrier, and all the efforts indicated by high volume didn't result in any significant outcome. This is Wyckoff's logic, which suggests a large buyer is in the market, holding the price back from further decline with their substantial buy limit orders. And when selling pressure wanes, the price quickly rebounds. Likewise, in the 1140 example, we see a narrow candle with high volume according to ATR. Compare this candle with the previous one. The 1135 candle also has high volume, but the progress achieved in the price increase is proportional to the volume, which can't be said about the 1140 candle. Based on this combination of two candles, we can infer that a major seller appeared in the market during the R resistance breakout, countering the upward impulse by placing sizable limit sell orders against the flow of market buy orders. Heavy supply overtook demand, and within an hour, the price dropped by $750. This pattern has two distinct characteristics. Firstly, increased volume as an indication of major players' activity. Secondly, a slowdown in trend progress compared to previous bars. Let's now look at the oil futures chart, hourly period. Let's compare candles one and two. The first candle has high volumes and noticeable bullish progress, supported by a strong close and a price increase between open and close. This indicates strong momentum. The second candle also has high volume but lacks bullish progress, as open and close prices almost coincide and the ATR is at average levels. The price momentum is average, but the high volumes suggest a major player's activity. Let's add the volume profile to the chart where this pattern was observed. At point 1, we see a bright red cluster, which suggests that the market by order flow exhausted itself, and a major seller began selling at market price. The profile takes the shape of the letter P, indicating a serious battle between major interests above $69.50. The bearish bar at 1900 hours hints that the major seller emerged as the winner. At point 3, we see a test of the profile's high volume level, which looks like the letter P. At the 2100 hours bar, we see a cluster with the maximum volume, where the sellers won. This was the start of a big decline in price, and we were able to identify an early sign of a reversal on bars 1 and 2, thanks to the logic that worked 90 years ago. In summary, let's list a few tips to enhance the effectiveness of this pattern. 1. Look for the pattern near important support or resistance levels. 
2. Consider the overall market picture, trends on higher timeframes, and remember that a solid reversal may not be present against the prevailing trend. 3. Use cluster charts or additional indicators to confirm your decisions. Thank you to everyone who stayed with us till the end of the video. If you found this content valuable, please share it with your friends. Give us a thumbs up, leave your questions in the comments section, and we'll see you in the next videos.